Hello, 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 for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is Evangelist Wanda Booker coming to you on this Saturday evening. Um, I had me a little busy little schedule on this morning, and I'm back home. Uh, we went, I picked up um, a, a minister uh, from a church, and we went over to the church and met with some more uh, ministers and we got together and went and did street ministry on this morning and it was we um it was awesome um we witnessed to um about five groups of people um it was five of us that went and uh, we took care packages and stuff and you know and it was very nice and we um we spent like an hour and 30 um minutes out there and so um, after we finished, we came back to the church and um, got in our separate cars. And I had to get a key made for my mom. And um, so I went and got that done. And then um, I went to Kroger's and made um, a couple of groceries. My husband wants to eat healthy because his weight is up there to like 180-something. And the doctor said he got to lose weight. And um, his cholesterol is up. So um, what I did, I'm baking him some chicken now, and he wants um, vegetables with him, chicken breast, and he wants vegetables with this. So I'm going to do that for him um, for dinner tonight. <clears throat> and for myself, uh, I think this morning I ate some jelly toast before I went and a bottle of water. And now I'm going to eat me a wrap, um, a turkey, um, honey, um, turkey wrap with some spinach and some lettuce and um, um, some more different kind of um, greens in here and some cheese and um, and some um, Hellman's mayonnaise. So I'm trying to put something in me. I know you guys saying, so this is what it looks like after I fixed it. And um, so how are you guys doing today? I know y'all said, what is going on now, Evangelist Booker? Well, the doctor gave me these brakes because the arthritis in my hand is just so bad. And um, I took my shot, so the shot haven't really, really, really stopped working um, yet. I took it like two days ago, so um, I have these brakes to put on my hands when I go into that chronic pain. You know, it gets so that I can't hold anything and... You know, I just can't do anything, you know, so um, to God be the glory. But I still went on anyway with my brace on my hand and um, and went on and ministered. And um, God gave me strength in my legs, you know. When he gets you from out your comfort zone to do what he wants you to do. So um, it, we had a blessed time in the Lord and um, a group of people that didn't mind working together and, you know, ministering together um my mom is here uh she came in and surprised me for my birthday so she went out of town so now she's coming back into town <laughs> so it's just a blessing to have her here um for a week you know god is good you know my, 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 a couple of days over a week you know so that is what evangelist wanda book is doing so y'all pray for me as i pray for y'all you know um, i'm still keep pushing you know I'm going to still keep on, you know, doing what God has um, called me to do, you know, to the best of my ability. So I just wanted to come on here and just, you know, just say um, we have to stay encouraged. No matter how we hurt, um, there are different people that are in worse situations than we are. You know, homeless people, you know, we um, went out and, you know, um, where the homeless people was and gave them care packages and, one lady said she will be getting her a place on um, Tuesday. And, you know, that was a praise report, you know. And we pray for healing and, you know, and for God to just come into their lives and let them know how much God loves them, no matter what they're going through. And um, and it was just blessed on today. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm coming back next week with Bible study. Um Excuse me, I know that the numbers have been down, but um, um, the views, but I'm coming back with Bible study. And you guys, I'm on a, 
a different level than what I was before. And so um, I'm going to come back next week with that. You know, it hasn't stopped. It's just I've been going through so much and doing different things, um, you know, for the Lord. And um, just kind of like um, left the vlog alone for just a little bit, you know, um, and just showing y'all my little birthday or whatever. But I was doing some other things um, um, for the Lord. And um, so I had to um, just, you know, sometimes you just got to stay um, silent and you got to hear the voice of the Lord. And we have to um, um, we have to be still and hear the um, be still and hear the voice of the Lord and you know and just ministering and you know and it's like we went out today but mm -hmm. I have people actually come into my house you know saying um, I, um God told me to come here you know and um, you know I don't get the glory it's all He gets all the glory all the honor and praises and so. While I'm sitting in my house, you know, I still can minister and help someone else, even though I might be out of work and I might be at home and painting. But like I say, somebody else is going through worse than what I'm going through. You know, my daughter called me and was telling me how this guy they knew um, was on pain pills because he was in a real bad um, accident and um, and um, he was taking pain pills. But was also getting more pain pills from other people, you know, and and um, or either, you know, probably doing something else with him, whatever. But anyway, the um, cop pulled him over, and he took all the pills that he had um, in the car before the cops got there, and he began to um, start um, going to having a seizure. And they rushed him to the hospital, and he had another seizure, and he didn't wake up from that seizure. You know, um, you know, these pills can be addictive, supposed to be for your pain. Y'all, you know, I, I don't take them. I don't take them. I mean, straight up, I try to deal with them. I have creams that I can put on my um, body when I'm painting or whatever. And I either I'll take ibuprofen, you know, across the counter. If it get too, too bad, and, and sometimes it does, I will take the pills that the, God, um, the doctors gave me. And it's just like two a day, y'all. Uh, you know, I don't take no more than two a day, you know, because I don't want to be addicted to that medication, you know. And 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 sometimes, you know, I be down, but, you know, he gives me the strength to get up. So I persevered on today to go out of there to forget about myself, but think about someone else. And I persevered on today, you know, and I was able to walk a little bit. We didn't, you know, really go. We went into a certain area, and we went there, and we began to minister and um, give out the um, care packages and stuff and invited them to um, come to our church, you know. And um, so that's what I've been doing. And like I said, you know, um, they was like, you okay? I said, okay, I'm okay, you know. Um, you know, God is my strength. God is my keeper. He's a present help in the time of need. Although I feel a little pain, like I said, other people are doing worse than what we are doing, you know, um, out there. And it's getting hot, you know, now. It was real hot out there today. But just to see them out there, you know, sitting on the sidewalk, um, bags of clothes or, you know, just, just there, you know. Um, I never have been in that situation, but it's good to go out there and see what other people may be going through. It may be times when I was getting ready to get put out, but God made a way of escape that I had a roof over my head and my kids' head, you know. So, um, you know, I just ask for y'all to just pray for um, the homeless, pray for the lost, um, pray for the sin sick, pray for the ones that... Um, and don't have it like you have it and always um know that someone there's someone doing worse than what you are doing no matter what you're going through you know you are made for it you know so um i just had to come on and tell y'all that and like i said on next week i will be starting bible study once again um god has been giving me some um good stuff and i want to share it with you guys so i hope you guys are having a blessed saturday i know you out there shopping i know you're getting this stuff ready for sunday morning and um to god be the glory and um so i'm gonna eat this um um food because i haven't had anything since early early this morning and i'm gonna eat this and then at six i'll be leaving out to go pick up my husband and like i said i'm baking him some chicken breast and i will put some um vegetables um with um 
with um, chicken breast. I either I'll do the vegetables, um, stir fry him some vegetables, you know. So um, that's what he'll have for tonight. And I'll think about what I'm going to fix on tomorrow. So um, you guys, if you don't have a church home, ask God to lead you and guide you to um, a church that where you can go, that you may grow, you know. And um, I thank God for putting me where he's put place me now. Mm, you know, um, in another church, the church I was at, it kind of like shut down, but um, God had another way, another place, and I thank God for ways that I'm getting more educated um, on his word, and, and um, you know, just, just, it's just different, you know, and I just thank God for it, you know, y'all pray for me as I pray for y'all, and y'all know, um, I'm going to come back to saying, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, and also I have some um, white um, onions on the sandwich, and then I have some green peppers on there as well. So y'all be great and um, do what you have to do. Love one another as Christ has loved the church. I love y'all. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Tell someone about Evangelist Wanda Booker. Come on back over here to see me, you know. Um, if y'all just want ministry, I will give you ministry, you know. Um, just tell me. Y'all can leave in the um, com um, comment section. Um, you know, what would y'all what would y'all have me to do? Y'all know I'm kind of limited because I'm coming from the tablet. And, um, um, and it's kind of hard. You know, with my hands the way they are, you know, to, to, to really, like, move around with the um, tablet. And like I said, God's going to bless me with my camera and with me a computer that I can be able to edit and do all that good stuff. But until then, I'm going to come to y'all, um, you know, in the way that he gave me. I love y'all. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of someone else. Love yourself and love other people as, um, as well. Please forgive. The forgiveness is not for the other person, but it's for you. Okay? I love y'all. Smooches. Peace. Oh, I can't do my thumb. Oh. <laughs>